I'm gonna ask the people in the chat. I honestly, I was just talking to Jay about this before I started the stream. I don't know. I mean, okay. So I know the sort of like cliff notes to the Zuckerberg thing that like, I guess Facebook leaked a bunch of information. And so he's sort of like answering for it or explaining it. But I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of videos where the people are just grilling him. Like they're just mad at him personally. Like he probably like, I feel like when you're the CEO of a company, yeah, you take all the responsibility, but he probably doesn't have any idea what the fuck is going on with whatever shit they're even talking to him about. He just looked confused. I feel like I could have done that interview better than him. And I don't even know what the heck they're talking about like some of the questions they asked him it's like he just didn't have a prepared response but i i would have to say it's uh usually uh because i think it, it involves that equi not equifax um that fucking data breach or whatever yeah or some shit and then um it's like i i think people are just pissed off about uh the fact that facebook is not regulated based upon like taking all your information that you're volunteering all this information uh, that's what a lot of people don't pay attention to. I didn't even and know niggas like, even still use Facebook. I was just like, who is this even addressing? Like, middle-aged yeah. to old people? <laughs> I mean, million, millions upon billions of people use Facebook, bro. Oh, that's right. I forget. You use Facebook, so you're more in tune with that demographic. I, I, I haven't logged on Facebook since high school, so I don't really have that same connection. I mean, I still own a Facebook account. Like, I can, like, look at it if I wanted to, but, like, my sister texted me the other day, she said, go check your Facebook, I tagged you and something, I'm like, bitch, I'm not logging into no fucking Facebook, <laughs> like, what, ever since, see, I'm now in tune with my, um, uh, online, um, uh, business, uh, fan base, that's my social media now, I don't care about all the people that I knew from high school and college, well, I talked to some of the people I knew in college, but, if those people aren't talking to me now, I'm not, no, I don't need to talk to them through some invisible, like it's like I don't know like something I actually noticed that like I use like like and this isn't like weird this is like normal like, everyone does this but like I feel like uh you know you want a certain level of like valid social media validation um or not like necessarily validation but like a certain presence to um to have like amongst your peers but now that I have like I've been able to create and choose my fan base all them other niggas oh you guys are relevant now it doesn't matter I don't care what any of those people think or what they care about, or they're tweeting, posting. Like, I don't have a regular Twitter. Oh, I have, I probably have a regular Twitter that I just never use it. I don't have no regular Twitter, no regular Facebook. It's just heavenly everywhere. That's all the shit that I use. So, and if I meet anybody, then I probably met them through that shit anyway. So I don't have to change it either for that. All right, let me turn these lights on. Ugh. Ooh, shit, let me not tear up my room. You know what? Fuck it. My mom found this desk in an alley. If it gets torn the fuck up, so be it. There you go. Let her know. <laughs> Send a message. Ugh. All right. Let me plug in my headphones. I don't know if you're echoing or not, but... All right. What are you guys saying in the chat over here? I haven't gone on Facebook in two years. Yeah, that sounds like me. Do not react to DXD. It starts back to episode 10. What? What are you talking about? Whatever. Um, silverback gorilla with spandex. I don't know the context of that. But yeah, I don't know anything about that Mark Zuckerberg shit. All I know is I don't use Facebook, so I could care less if Facebook. Honestly, all my information if it's not, there. if it, it's not a. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't really give a shit. Like, have you noticed when you go on Facebook? Well, maybe not since you haven't been on there. So <laughs> but actually, they've been doing this for a long time. Like, when you log onto your Facebook, like they'll start showing you shit from your Amazon cart. Uh huh. Shit like that. Okay, so that's yeah, what but you talking. that that like that usually like there's there's a setting that you usually they ask you and you turn that on and then it does exactly. that like that, that's it, that's it doesn't the, do that on its what, own. Yeah, that's what that's what people are upset about. Like it's more than just that they don't know how to read. Just, what the fuck? That's their yeah, own that fault. To, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just just all these people that don't understand what the fuck is going on. Like, and uh, like that's like someone complaining that their app is tracking them, but they got location services turned on. Like the fuck exactly. do you expect to happen? That's exactly. You can turn off location services for every individual app you use. They always ask you. They don't even turn them on automatically. They usually say, "Would you like to allow location services?" That's like you know what? And now I'm not gonna pretend like I'm knowledgeable about the subject. Maybe it extends beyond that because i do know they had some analytica technica academia whatever the fuck that thing was called that like le like there's actual leaking of information but um so this isn't in reference to the zuckerberg thing because i'm not gonna pretend like i even know anything about that but i will say that i hate when people feel like they need someone else to be responsible for them like i remember back when mcdonald's had their um supersize um me like their supersized versions of their food or whatever 
Yeah. And then remember when that whole documentary came out, Super Size Me, and then they got rid of the super the super size option because of how fattening it was, or whatever. And and then I I do also know that like actually I think they still have them, but they don't advertise them as heavily anymore. Happy Meals, like the toy in the Happy Meal, because yeah. I guess the Happy Meals would get the kids to want to go to McDonald's just to get the toy, and then they would have their parents bring them the toy. And then they get fed off the Happy Meals. I'm like, but they're not. You act like the kids are walking into the store. You 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 blame a McDonald's for your bad parenting. Like what the fuck? Like your your choices. Like they didn't force. They didn't force shove you down this your throat. These um uh these these options. Like you chose yeah, that's, that's, that's of your own much, free will. That's too much. Yeah. Bullshit. So let me, let me indulge in my own bad behavior. Okay. Let me alone. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> or then another <laughs> thing, and then maybe because I'm already on social media to a degree, anyways, I have sort of just kind of become desensitized to the whole thing. But I don't understand how people will get so offensive about their information being leaked in the first place. What the fuck is it that you're hiding so diligently that you don't want to be exposed? That you don't, that you're putting want shared? on Facebook. Oh. Yeah, like I like I mean my dad came to the same consensus where he were like, Oh man, you know that the government's secretly watching all of us. Like, oh what, they watching me jack off? Who cares? Like the fuck? Like, they can take and use that information, whatever they want. Like uh If they're gonna they use reminds- the informa- if they're gonna use my like fucking internet searches and all my other information to sell me things that I want, uh, where's the issue? Where's yeah. the issue? I don't understand. Like like it, it, like if they look- see me scrolling if they see me scrolling through fucking Pornhub and then all of a sudden they're just like, Oh, by the way, we noticed you like this porn star. Here's a here's a uh, a sex doll version. They they should also <laughs> Oh, know thank you. Porn- yeah, they should also know that I can't afford a sex doll because they know what my income <laughs> is. But you know, like thanks for the recommendation. I appreciate that. I'm not gonna purchase this, but I, I do appreciate the effort. Thank you. It's like having a girlfriend that knows what you like. That's exactly right, what it's right. like. Except you're not fucking her. She's fucking you. <laughs> so, I, I'm, I'm just, like, you know, throwing it out there. So, you know, it, it, it's like you don't have to drop hints as to what you want for your birthday anymore because everybody already knows. Yeah, and then you could just uh, have your uh, – have Google, in fact, while they're at it, Facebook, whatever, they should share that information with the girlfriends so you don't even have to worry matter about of that. Fact, that is, matter of fact, that's something that 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 Mark Zuckerberg should look into right now, immediately. Like <laughs> when when it's whenever it's my birthday, it should send my girlfriend a notification. Oh, today's your boyfriend's birthday. He's been looking at this on Amazon. Like I know, here's his search history, right? Here's the porn that he's been watching this week. Like that's exactly. the, see, I'm, but and then maybe I'm an exception to this because I'm one of those people who I don't even use incognito mode. Like I'm just like, if you want to come oh, on my I computer and start, like first of all, no one's about to be do shit on my fucking computer. Uh, first of all, and second of of all what do you expect like we're even if honestly if anything i'm a liar if i clear my search history because let's not pretend like i'm not on hentai haven and Pornhub every other day or whatever the yeah. fuck like matter of fact yeah, you, so. you couldn't trust me it, you couldn't trust me if you got on my right exactly like, hey, i try I, I don't trust I'm the nigga who clears his search, search history what you got to hide i yeah. i can only assume but you could be into all types of twisted shit like you got, um, you got some isis videos going on over here bro What's like that? Hey, it's best up. to just lay it all out bare like then you know okay like that's that's the thing too it's like when you hide when you hide any part of even if it's like the thing that you hide is minor there you're gonna leave it to their imagination but if you don't hide anything then it's just like like it's like in fact i was actually just um i was thinking of like having a conversation about this on twitter but i figure well okay if these people want their privacy whatever that's their business but um there are some people who like youtubers who like they don't use their real name and I feel like this, I, I just feel like this whole concept is just an older concept for like the earlier days of the internet where it was easier to be anonymous. But it seems like nowadays, these days, that's not really something that you can really do anymore. So there's this YouTuber who doesn't use her name and she doesn't advertise her personal life or any of that shit. Thanks for the uh, super chat, Mr. Michael Law. Um, and they they try to like keep the information away from the public as much as possible. But I understand if you're a girl, and that's one thing. I'm not a girl, so I can't really sympathize with that aspect because I know that if you're female on the internet, you definitely deal with a lot more bullshit than a male does. But there's no way you're going to try to you're going to hide all this information. Like people will find it. Like I was just out of curiosity. I'm like, let me see how hard will it find will it be if I wanted to find this stuff. And it was like the real name was like next to their name it was like the third like Google search suggestion. And then you found like a bunch of like like blog posts and boards with all of this like scraped together information. So it was like it took me like five minutes to find all that stuff. So what actually happens? And we've talked about this before on countless occasions that when you tell somebody that they can't have something or when you hide something, it just makes people look for it more. Whereas if you just put it out, then they're there, then 
they're just like, whatever. Like, uh, we talked about um, a couple of years ago when Overwatch came out, how Blizzard tried to suppress porn for Overwatch, and then it just, like, that doubled was, and tripled the amount. Right yeah, that was yeah. a fool's but remember, though, what my conspiracy theory was was that this was Blizzard's idea all along, was to suppress the Blizzard Overwatch porn so that they would make more, so that people would be like, damn, you know, after jacking off to all this Overwatch porn, I gotta go out and buy me some buy Overwatch, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was an underhanded, it was a tactic. Then after that's that, I respect them. Like <laughs> Then after that, they just make the outfits sexier and sexier, and then you gotta buy loot boxes with your game that you just bought, like, because yeah. you're not about to, you're not about to open this game up and then immediately start playing and start jacking off to the characters. No, 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 no. That's that's there's you you need more buy-in time. You literally have <laughs> yeah. to physically right, buy. Right, right. It's like okay, like for example, like you know how like sometimes you'll have a like a sex tape for some celebrity drop, but it's just like I don't even know who the fuck this is, so it does nothing for you. Like you'll see a deep fake for some celebrity you've never heard of. It's like this means yep. nothing. But it's like if I or so then it's like, I just don't even care about like right, sick. right, right. But then if it's like really good, you're like, well, damn. Now I gotta find out what they're from. I gotta watch the show that they're in or the movie that they were in, and so I'm I can have some investment in the exactly. And yeah. then suddenly it has meaning. But before that, then it's just like whatever. Like someone actually, you know what? I want to reference. Someone mentioned Kaho Shibuya in the uh, chat. She's a porn star who I had found on the internet because there was some picture of her. And I th first I thought, you know what the, one of the best feelings is, Jay, is when you're like, you find some picture or whatever on the internet of like some girl who's cosplaying or doing whatever. And then you th and then you find out, oh, this is a porn star. I can see her getting fucked. <laughs> and oh, then yeah. so then you, then you search that and then she's like, all right, well now that investment has been built. Sadly, it didn't work in Celestia Vega's case. Rest her, God bless her heart. But uh, you know, Ooh. it's one of those rare exceptions. <laughs> But yeah, so like uh, I I actually I actually watched like there's some of like these um like, you know the Japanese porn where they censor all that shit and there was the one with Kago Kago Shibuya in it but I was just like well I mean but you know I have some investment in her she has a Twitter and she actually uses it like this is a person that exists because I just this I don't know I feel a like real legitimate person not just yeah an like, I feel like these other like other like the traditional stuff you see like those people even though they are real people it's almost like you dissociate them from reality like they're yeah. in a separate like sphere. But then when you have people that, like, they engage in, like, normal shit, and then suddenly you see them getting fucked, then it's, like, a whole new perspective. Like, it's also really surreal when you see, like, porn stars engage on Twitter like normal people, and they're not taught about like, getting fucked every five seconds, and they don't have XXX by their name or something, you know? <laughs> uh, no, because so. all, all the porn stars I follow talk about getting fucked all day. That's it. Well, I mean, it, let's not say that they don't talk about getting the fucked all day, but they... The should follow. They, they're they the fill ones in the blanks who... about other stuff too, like that they're an actual human being and not a bot with generated messages that could probably just be like algorithm based or some shit. <laughs> I'm not. I, either way, I'm not gonna complain. Honestly, like I, I want them both. Give me both. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I've, I've decided to separate the two. Like, if I want to see porn, I can go on a porn site. But on Twitter, I'll just like that's where I want to see conversations. Like, you like you see you see like a lot of the times like. Some girl who has an Instagram account and then she has a Twitter account and the Instagram has all the Actually, followers and the Twitter you know is there because you know what's interesting is on on Instagram I started doing the same thing like I just started unfollowing a bunch of these booty pages because I'm like all right this is literally this is literally like watching etchy like if I'm watching <laughs> etchy I might as well watch hentai like it's just right right I might as well go full throttle don't go at all because like clearly you can't you're not gonna show me your tits on Instagram that's just not gonna happen. But That's you're gonna true. show me as much as you can. But you will see them can. on Twitter. Yeah, but I will see them on Twitter exactly because you're trying to build <laughs> up that Instagram hype. So I, you know what? I, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to be following all these pages on fucking Instagram. And I started unfollowing a bunch of shit. And so far, like with my timeline cleansed, I feel like I, I actually see shit I want to see now. Like, exactly just, right. I, so I did nice. that with Twitter and YouTube. Like I had to unfollow, unsubscribe to all this stuff that like, you know how like, um, and I know everybody can relate to this, how you'll have these channels that you're subscribed to, but you never really watch their videos. But like, you might watch one out of every 50. No, fuck that. If the video is important, it'll show up in my recommendations. Otherwise, it's just clustering, it's just cluttering my feed. So I should do the I don't fuck with series again. No, see now here and actually, Jay, this okay, can actually segue into a question that I want you to answer, and then that will answer this question. So I remember you talking about your canon culture and how you said like if it gets a certain amount of views, you'll continue it, right, or something like that, something along those lines. Mm, that and I wanted to sell more merch, and I actually hit the goal. I wanted to. I wanted oh, to. Oh, okay. Because what I was going to say is that. Um, so, like, what you were saying is, you know, everybody's always asking me to do more canon culture. Well, if let's see if you can back up your request. 
and uh, if you guys actually engage in this series, then I'll continue it. That's something that I've started to learn too, is that while I do value the feedback of all my fans and everything, something I've still taken into consideration, and I've said this on countless occasions, is that people don't know what they want. Like they kind of do, but they're not really 100% sure. Because some people will ask for something, but then when you make it, they don't watch it. Or maybe those people watch it, but it's like the masses won't watch it. So it's kind of like, you have to sort of take that into consideration. Like how I told you last week when I did that poll of uh, um, a few weeks back of like a Xenoverse mod video. Do you guys want to see DLC 6 or Ultra Instinct Goku? And all the people that voted, uh, voted for Ultra Instinct. But then all the people who commented wanted the DLC. So uh, I would say that the people who give the feedback are the ones that are probably the more core audience. So it definitely you definitely don't want to uh, alienate those people. But at the same time though, you have to also consider the mass group as well and find like that sweet spot in the between where there's some overlap like you don't want to alienate the the most dedicated fans that found you for your your og shit but at the same time you can't just make this really niche content that some new person coming in will be like what the fuck is this shit and then it just gets uh, no views. unfortunately so. unfortunately when you have uh, a circumstance where you barely get views in the first place none of this applies i mean i still think it applies on a lower scale like I just feel like, and you know, and I, it's that, like, that's why, that's why I thought it would work. I'm like, all right, you, you niggas claim like, cause it was more than just like one comment. I was getting like eight, nine, 10 comments and I was getting them on Instagram. I was getting people tweeting mm -hmm. them to me like, Hey, when's the next, when's the next season of Canon culture? This, that, and the other thing I'm like, all right, well, if you niggas buy, you know, five more of these hoodies and t-shirts and shit. And like somebody buys a mug, two people bought mugs, four people bought stickers. I sold 10 hoodies and I was like, damn, I, I should have increased the price on this. I didn't know you niggas were going to go wild for this. So I only made like a couple of bucks per hoodie. And I was like, well, shit, now I got to buy new lights, uh, which, oh, shit, I got to buy that today. Uh, yeah. Thank you to all the, yeah, you know, what's so funny is I, I tweeted out on Monday. I was like, oh, guys, I get paid on Friday. I need to buy new lights on Friday. Somebody remind me. Nobody reminded me. But it, like 30 people yeah. like retweeted me and they were just like, nah, I got you, fam. And this, that, and the other <laughs> thing. None of you, where are you niggas at today? All you niggas was quiet. So. <laughs> I had to remember my goddamn self. Useless. So, anyway, uh, the point I was trying to make is it, I actually saw, like, a dramatic, like, change. Not just in, like, the episodes of Canon Culture that I put out, because I also put out, like, a podcast episode, and then I put out the the one uh, clip that we did uh, that I just named Canon Culture just to see where it was going. And, like, they jumped to 100 views the same day they like came out which doesn't happen that usually takes like three days for 100 views to accumulate on my channel you know what i would so, say you would do my advice would be on your canon culture series or whatever is that like to sort of like not have to you don't really have to do much well i would say like like if i were if i were to do your series or whatnot um you would definitely have to do like sort of like well first of all i wouldn't just make them streams like i would have to i would actually edit them down to be more concise within like a 10 to 15 minute like sort of situation um uh First, first of all, um, because like even if you do want the eventual uh, whole thing to be like a like a long form type situation, what I always take into consideration is that when uh, on the smaller scale, people who don't aren't invested, like if you don't have a large audience invested in your content, you have to sort of give them smaller amounts of like bite sized bit pieces of what your grand uh, plan is going to be to get those people to even take over take the time to even like uh, listen for one right so that's why i've always said you know as a smaller channel you have to make your videos digestible before you try to make them very long form like i, I even talked about how like in the early stages i try to make these really ambitious highly edited videos but i didn't have the talent nor the the clout to get the views on those videos and a lot of times that effort fell on deaf ears and then it was just like you have to it, it sounds kind of fucked up but you have to sort of uh prioritize quantity over quality to a degree but not necessarily abandoning it either but then so there's that's the worst first thing i would make them shorter like edit them down and make them concise and then obviously the other thing to make your videos rank well is to have like like even if it's even if you talk about something for like five minutes like if you just find the most you know it's like i guess you, the best the most blunt way of putting it is clickbait is by just you know finding that tagline you know that popular trending thing that um can stand out and you could even do this thing to where like man is as annoying as it was as it is when some other channels do it but of course if you're a charismatic and interesting person that's not the issue but a lot of channels do this and it's really annoying but it's effective like kind of funny does this all the time that show with greg miller and all those people left ign or whatever where they would right. make this video like it would be like let's say as an example like i actually, i'm not subscribed to all those channels anymore because their their videos were once again 
they were like all like an hour plus minutes and they would talk about the topic at hand like just smack in the middle somewhere and there was no timestamp to lead into it or anything um but like they like they would make a video talking about like um how good is the new god of war right and then like you don't hear about it until like the 20 minute mark and then they're talking about other shit that i have no investment in or don't even know what they're talking about or don't care about for the other first half or whatnot but i think that in that case and obviously it may not have worked on me but it works on plenty of other people you know they get that retention they get they have their donations their sponsors and all this other shit so that's what i would say is to start out with your series small like shorter but then make it longer and then also uh find that like tagline for you to put in your title and in your thumbnail and then another thing that i always stress too is like which a lot of channels don't do but i find it necessary and i found that it's been effective is to always which you've actually been doing anyways now is having my face in all my thumbnails as well or at least 95 percent and even if your videos good for form, yeah yeah exactly so like even if your videos don't do good like you're still like you're, you're putting your face out there you're you're ranking your 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 person your persona whereas you can have a video do well and get a million views but if your face wasn't in the thumbnail and god forbid if it wasn't in the video which at least we don't have to worry about that aspect then that video has really done nothing to elevate you at all those views are empty you have retained none of them like i, I think people don't really even think about that like the retention aspect and not when i'm talking about retention and views but like just a retention of an audience like that's why you get these channels that they have no face and they're just commentary over topics and then when those topics are irrelevant and they don't find a new trend to hop onto their fan base they disappear and it dwindles even your most diehard fans if they can't put a face to the name you're a uh, idea to them you're not even a full person even though they know there's a person behind the voice they don't make that connection so that's why i'm like like uh a face is very important for that like uh i and i remember when i first got that like light bulb in my head went off when um because uh, i you know obviously i used to make my thumbnails and they didn't have my face in them for the longest time or if they did it was very rare and I think it might have been a part of, like, when I first started out, I was just like, I don't want my ugly-ass face on any of these thumbnails. But now, I guess, over the, cor over the course of, like, making my videos and my personality evolving, I'm just like, I'm sexy as fuck. I'm putting myself in every thumbnail. If they don't appreciate it, they can get the fuck out. So <laughs> now my face is in all my thumbnails. And I remember when I saw it, I saw, like, you know, those YouTubers like Corex Kenshin and Dashi and how their face was in every thumbnail. I'm like, hmm, well, these guys have millions of subs, and they put their face in every thumbnail. But something that I don't think people think about is, like, if someone has millions of subs and they keep doing something, and they're clearly doing it for a reason. Like, something that I've learned through experience is that nothing that you see is on accident. Everything is there on purpose. There's no, like, hmm, this is very coincidental that all these big YouTubers happen to do this thing. There's no coincidence to that. There's a reason behind it. So I think that's another thing to take into consideration, too. And that's why I like watching a lot of channels, even though that, which, even though I feel like now I'm comfortable enough to unsubscribe to a lot of these, but all these, a lot of these channels I've subscribed to just as research purposes to see these trends that I was getting in my sub feed. You know what I'm saying? like but mm. i w i'm i have to say you know what i've been watching considerably more youtube than before and i don't mean like oh yeah i think this topic is interesting or whatever i'm literally just clicking shit and just watching it at this point because i'd be so bored sometime and i i have <laughs> to say between uh all of, all of my friends who are like you know all these guys are actors and voice actors and shit like that they surprisingly don't watch a whole lot of YouTube. I'm like, this is very interesting that this is a medium right? that you guys want to get into. And they're just fascinated by it. They're like, they're amazed. Like, oh, man, you you know what? You have like 20, 2,700 subs and this, that, and the other thing. I'm like, I'm like nah, not really. This is a fucking garbage tier. What are you talking about? But honestly, Jay, and here's the thing. It's like the, like the scale, it's like from zero to 100. Like, you have a lot of subs. And I think what you have to sort of put into perspective is not necessarily because i think that for you it might be it might seem so small because you you might use me as a comparison as a measurement but like when i had 2700 subs i felt like the shit because i just know how many subs i have not comparison to like the biggest people but comparison to the average person like we talked about this like you go and look through a comment section you scroll through one subscriber two subscriber eight nine for you to have not one but two thousand plus subscribers like yeah. that's a big deal and people take you seriously for even that small amount and of course and, and like and it happens overnight like there I, f I don't remember there being like there's not really like this middle ground there was the point where i had no subs and then the point where i had subs like it happened like and i remember thinking this and it's, it's interesting to now be on the other side of this now because when i remember when i was in that stage like it's like you know once you hit that stride it's like, and, and it's kind of this, okay, here's actually a very good analogy. So you know how you get like these rappers that they start popping off and then 
um, people be calling them new rappers and then they were like, I'm not a new rapper. Like I've been rapping for years. You're just now hearing about me, right? And now mm-hmm. they get all this fame and popularity, but they've been rapping for years. YouTube is like that too. You'll have somebody who's making videos for weeks to months to years and they're what they're doing is they're refining their cla- their craft, they're developing that audience, they're finding their footing. Because I even remember when I first started my channel for the longest time, I had no idea what the fuck I wanted to be. I, I couldn't narrow my focus. That was all over the place. It was sort of an experiment at that, at mm-hmm. that time. But like, so like, you know, I was building up that backlog and even though those hundreds of thousands of videos that are now privated and listed, those videos served a purpose even though they have no views. They didn't serve a purpose for the audience, but for myself, I used those as a, like, as research material, like, you know, make a video, see how many views they get, how many comments they get, the interaction, all that shit. And then, um, uh, so all those, so every video you make, like, I think that it's the, the, the thing that like, um, stands out to most people is like how many views it gets. But like in the earlier stages, the views literally mean nothing. Don't really look at that. What you need to be looking at is what you did right, what you did wrong, and just constantly make efforts to improve. Of course, I feel like I, you should always do that, but that's definitely something that you have to strive for at the beginning. And then, what, one day you'll just hit that point, just boom, like it'll be like a light uh, flipping on a switch. Suddenly the subs will start rolling and the views will start rolling in. And then like, and I get these comments all the time too. I, I got a comment like this yet, uh, today, in fact. How does Heavily not have millions of subs already? Like he, he just, he's, he just, his videos are such a high quality. And it's just like, well, you, you have to, you have to get to like you can't you don't just wake up it doesn't happen yeah it doesn't happen overnight yeah i may be at that level now but like i i had to develop that skill over time like oh god i could look back at some of my older videos and it's funny too because i used to watch videos like i remember like in the earlier stages of my channel like uh when i would talk about like you know watching like modern war negroes videos and thinking like man i can never see my videos of that quality now look at videos back then from like the 2015 and it's like these videos are trash in comparison to the stuff that I'm making now, you know? So. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a very interesting trade-off because at this point, uh, I'm fighting this giant-ass fucking gator in uh, Origins. And that, that nigga almost ate me. Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the amount of like production quality drastically has changed because I was like, for a cool minute, I was just like, let me just put out the best video I can do. Now I'm just like, nah, let me just put out a subject video. I don't really care what what the quality of the video is i don't give a shit anymore like nobody else is gonna give a shit they only give a shit that the video is there so that's it I, i'm yeah. not really, really worried about it and that's that's kind of like my new thing with this like new anime channel is i literally just make make videos almost every day now because i just well except for this week because it got like super busy um but i just don't even i don't even give a shit bro especially when it comes to like topics like anime because there's always going to be new anime like i don't I just find the popular thing talk about that for like five and a half. You minutes. know what I actually also say about that, what you were doing with that, is that so like, um, and also to address, because like I get these comments all the time, so and obviously, you know, saying it once won't get it to everybody, but just to address some of you guys in the comments um, right now. Uh, so, because some people come in and, you know, they are new and they don't know what's going on. Like, what are you guys talking about? So, yeah, so uh, the podcast right now is what we're doing right now. And it's literally me just Jay talking about bullshit. So, if you want to be, well, talk about that Dragon Ball Z movie. No, Nick, we're probably not going to talk about that, especially since Jay don't really be watching anime shit like nah, that. So, <laughs> so, like, this podcast is sort of like a... a the, I don't want Nick like, getting it twisted, okay? I'm yeah, not, so I, I, make, I make the weep shit all week and then I use the podcast as that part to sort of diverge from all of that and then condense it all down into one hour a week whatnot so that's just to get off get all the other stuff out but what i was going to say about that jay is that since obviously anime and anime related content is your passion if you're gonna make videos on that and and uh because you know it's easy views and stuff like that mm, i wouldn't watch, i wouldn't watch that p word because uh, i'm just doing it just to get paid <laughs> okay okay <laughs> but like what i was going to say was that even if that's not what you want to do in the long term i think that there's still nothing wrong because you know a lot of people say oh don't make videos and stuff that you're not passionate about because it won't it won't last in the long run because you're getting mm, burnt out about them it. niggas is liars but i mean I, I think there's some truth to that but um the real talk podcast but um i think there's some truth to that but what i would say is that you could probably use that as a platform to get that audience and use it as sort of like a um there's a word for this that i can't think of off the top of my head think of like, it think um, of it as like uh I, when i was like coming up with it i was just like this is literally too. like all the first stuff that people talk about on twitter and like all this channel. other shit that becomes popular i'm Your like yo i just need an easy wave, wave to ride like awesome so that way man. i can just make random videos about dumb shit that, that i personally don't give a shit about then express that i don't give a shit about it and then people are just gonna hate me and get views and all this other shit and i'm like yo that's that's an easy source of revenue right there and then you'll have like 
so you'll have the occasional niggas that are just like, yeah, I fucks with this. I also don't like Dragon Ball Super, this, that, and the other thing. You know what I mean? Mm. So it just seemed like it was a super easy way to just like get the fucking get, like get topical shit to talk about and just make revenue off of it by talking shit. That's it. So and yeah. I was like. Yeah. And considering I have multiple channels and stuff like that, that's not the image and the brand I wanted to convey in a long term because, you know, I, I want to do this acting, voice acting shit. And, like, uh, anime channel's not exactly going to cut it because when you're trying to describe in in certain settings, you're trying to describe, like, oh, well, what do you do on YouTube? Oh, I, I make anime I just and all like shit. Nah, like I'm a voice actor, bucks, actor, and I created this, funny, this brand where Keep I take up. cartoons also, and all this other shit, and I just... Wait, okay, hold on, Jay. I have this text-to-speech shit on, and it's, like, talking over you. I didn't realize people were going to start donating like that. So, okay. All right. Now continue. I'll read your guys' things in a second. Like, I want Jay to finish these, what he's saying, None though. of these niggas is, 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 is donating to me. Bunch of fake. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fans. What were you saying? You were saying um, that you are trying to do the acting shit and all that other stuff. And... Yeah. Basically, like, when it comes to, like, think of it like uh, almost like branding. So, I, I thought of it as an easy, like, source of, of revenue where you can take something that's really topical and just, like, has its own niche market and shit like that. And it's easy to exploit because mostly it's, mm. like... People in between the ages of 13 to 24 that watch anime and then every now and then they'll get some money and they'll want to donate or every now and then they'll want to buy a t-shirt every now and then they'll they'll just click a video because it's about their favorite topic. They don't really care that, you know, oh, this guy's talking shit about my favorite anime. You'll have those guys in the, in the comments and stuff like that. I don't give a fuck about comments on an anime channel. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just want to make a video that's going to get tons of views and shit like that. Oh, Dragon Ball Super had a new episode? All right, well, let me do a video where I just shit on it. And because I don't care, <laughs> I can express that I don't care. Like, that's the passion is that I don't care. So <laughs> it's just easy to easy to make that. And think of it like wielding, like like making a sword. And then once you once the sword is made, you can wield that motherfucker any way you want to, anywhere you want to. Like, like you can pull up on, on a fucking hospital full of fucking orphan children. If you decided to slaughter all of those children, maybe that's not the best analogy. I but don't know like, where you're going with it, but I just figured I'd let you finish <laughs> it, and maybe it would make anyway, sense towards yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, let, let I'm me, like, let oh, we went from, like, not talking about niggas swinging swords. I was just like, okay, this yeah, is... Yeah, let me get it to, let me get it back to where it makes sense. Anyway, so it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like wielding a weapon where you can, like, use it any where you want and like so you'll have some enemies that you don't fuck with over here or you'll have some guys who are just like yeah i don't really fuck with that guy but then you want to flex the big dick sword on him bro you know what i mean like, you know what actually you, you, here's a good analogy you, that i have and this can lead into what i wanted to say to add on to what you're saying is like so what i was going to say is that doing on this anime shit and you, getting views for that and that audience it makes good you, practice for translating that over to what you actually want to make videos on exactly, and yeah and the comparison that i want to make is like in karate kid when mr miyagi had that nigga paint a fits like you're painting the anime channel is painting a fence you ain't trying to paint no fences in the long term you try to exactly. beat his ass but painting that fence you learn the the motions you know you learn the routine and then you translate that into combat so what you are doing is painting a fence when you're making exactly. this anime channel you're sort of trying to see okay well here's how i exploit an audience for views and do all these things and how do i translate that into something that i'm passionate about but it's easier to do it on something that's more lucrative and more popular and you can get those results exactly. faster and so then you can yeah, only then, in that with that specific uh scenario in mind you can only uh, exploit certain things for, you know, because like most people, they care about shit on Instagram, like baller alert in the shade room and like, you know, like what's a trending topic right now that's like popular to the average person compared to if you learn how to abuse those niche markets like anime, for example, like, you know, how, how clickbait works. And like, here's the thing, though, it's, it's so funny to see people who know about clickbait who are like in tune with like, oh, if you put tits in a thumbnail, it'll work. I'm not going to click this video or they'll click it anyway and leave a shitty comment. The 70 percent of the average population does not know that you're putting tits in the thumbnail to get more views. They don't know that. They don't know mm -hmm. the basic concepts of, of shit like that. So once you learn how to abuse it with people who are knowledgeable of certain things and you can like exploit them to the best of your ability then you can like start doing all these buzzfeed type shits and stuff like that you'll never believe what we found out last week doing this random shit in the middle of the street and it's just like i want to know i'm in the i'm randomly in the middle of the street i want to know something about that you'll never believe what, what rihanna wore this week and i'm gonna talk shit about it and it's like hey there are people who care about what rihanna wears and then it, i don't I don't necessarily. I feel like that's sort of like an inside internet joke too. Is like when you use clickbait and you do all those things, all the average people who you will go on the internet regularly. They don't know it's they, clickbait. No, no, no. I was gonna say like the the like the um the the frequent the people who frequent these types of videos and this con content, like they they know they recognize it and like they're like 
and they joke about it, haha. Ha. But it's just like, well, if everyone's, if all these people, this niche audience is aware of this stuff, then why, why does it they... keep being used? But it's like exactly. it's not geared and towards why is them. Why so successful too? Yeah, like, it's it's for it's for that other ninety percent. Like I think people who are like, and I've I've fallen victim to this too. People on the internet feel like the whole world is the internet, but like you would be surprised. And you even told you even opened my eyes to the fact that you were saying like you know a lot of there's a lot of like um uh, apartments and stuff that aren't even posted on any websites or anything like that. Like people think oh if it's online if it's not online it doesn't exist. But there's a lot of people who don't like man. I think I experienced this firsthand with my dad when I got in, installed that Fire TV into the living room and he mm-hmm. was watching YouTube for the first time and just watching him fall for all the most clickbait, almost obvious clickbait shit like fake fan made trailers for stuff. And he was mm-hmm. walking around thinking that there was some fucking like uh, that that shit was coming out. Like oh shit, I just saw a Batman 2018 trailer for a Ben a- Ben Affleck movie. I'm like, no, you fucking did it. Like, you know, like <laughs> some nigga, some nigga tricked you. You fell for it. Yeah, like, there was freaking Arkham, Arkham Knight gameplay screenshots and like, oh yeah, some people, there. some people still think that uh, Arkham Origins, where Batman and uh, Slade are fighting mm-hmm. in the warehouse yep. or whatever, niggas think that's a live action video. And I'm like, yep. And it like blew up to like it it was like a week ago or something. And niggas was really thinking it was a new Batman movie. I'm like, you niggas know this. Oh my god, dude. Like and it was too, all over like, Twitter, and I was like, "Why? Why are you niggas discovering this? This is t- from 2013. I'm confused. Like, <laughs> this is a video game. Like, so uh, the average the average person is 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 stupid, but the average, uh, uh, but the even more average person is just dumb as fuck." And, yeah, hold on. Let me read these super chats because I think they were actually relevant to what we're talking. So the first one, suburban nerd, he said that I was one of the first he subscribed to. And, uh, he likes my style and Philip DeFranco style. What I hope to do with my channel. Um, nerd news with my don't give a fuck attitude. Um, First of all, yeah. if you've never seen any of the Uncharted videos, you're no, you're a fake fan. Shut up. <laughs> but no, like, and that was something that like uh, I feel like I didn't used to like, and that's another thing too is that my channel isn't just a growing experience. Like, I feel like my channel is a growing experience for me because like I just like how would I have turned out without my channel? I feel like I, I mean I've always been a pretty like um um like i have outgoing personality but i was always still like i nowhere near i don't think it would nowhere near do the degree like if i would look at my how i was like in high school like i i, I just feel like so much more comfortable with myself and with my surroundings and situations and stuff like that and yeah it's like and i just kind of come to really just not give a shit about a lot of stuff and that i obviously i wasn't like that at the beginning like if you which i guess you really can't but i guess you could kind of like even some videos that are listed if you go look at my comments here and how i was before you know i wasn't going around being like your show or tr- your shows are trash this is bullshit because like i think everybody they're afraid to express their real opinion and if they do they try to sugarcoat it or they try to ease you into their opinion because they don't want to anger anybody or they don't want especially when you're a small channel it's really understandable to like not want to you know you don't want to anger anybody you want to please as many people as possible because you don't like you know you want to get as many people to subscribe and follow exactly. some people like so, and, so oh, um, i don't want to make one person mad that's going to take me from 99 subs to 100 like oh man right I, exactly how much power in this person's hand i'd be like nah fuck that i got niggas telling me every single day and every single video <laughs> oh man this this is a really shitty video jay you should go back to doing gaming videos i'm unsubscribing bye nigga 7.5 billion people on the planet get the fuck out of here Exactly. Yeah, and see, and you hear me and Jay talk about that all the time. Where some guys like, "Oh man, I liked your channel and everything, but all this hentai, I'm not, I can't deal with all that." I'm like, "All right, leave, nigga. I'll refresh the page. You'll be replaced by three people." Or like, I'm and like, I've just come to terms to where like, I don't need, I don't want everyone on the planet subscribed to me. Okay, if you sub, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you're just not a real ass nigga. You're not ready for this shit. So you can go over somewhere else. Like, um, yeah, exactly. I, I just like, you know what? There's plenty places on the internet. Like, there's plenty more. But go, I'm sure PewDiePie would appreciate you. And, and what I what I came to realize though, what I came to realize is that, and now it, I'm it's even more. I feel like I need more of an obligation to not give a fuck and to be blunt and to be honest and to be 100% me because now I'm starting to see, and this is crazy because like I would never see myself in this position, but I'm starting to see that where people will look up to me or see me as a role model, which is like putting my name next to role models is so fucking strange. But Disgusting. like, but yeah, yeah, like, but the fact that people are saying like, you know, um, how, um when they see me and how I am and how I'm comfortable with myself, it makes them comfortable with themselves too. Like it's, it's okay to be just to talk, to talk about anime titties all day, like, and, and still get bitches. Like people will call you a virgin pervert, weeaboo all they want. Like they can do all that. They can say all that shit, but you just, all you got to know is that you know the truth. You can let all those people, those plebs that don't know about, they're not about that life, but like, yeah, I mean, and, and like, I, I remember I used to not really even sometimes, like, um, and like, even I was this way, but I used to be like this way, Troy. Like, I wouldn't want to talk about, um, 
um, anime to my friends and to like, or to girls, or to like wear those shirts, or like, you know, be be like, be like, I was like, it's like, you know, most people, especially like when you're in high school and stuff, hey, C Dodge, C Dodge, thanks for coming through with the $20, 20 pounds, I guess, actually. I don't even know how that translates. Hey, but <laughs> slide through. let me get some of that. What you doing? But, uh, you play. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but like, um, and, and but then what I what I came to realize I even remember like when I was like a freshman in high school I remember because in middle school I hung out with a bunch of nerdy people or whatever in high school I'm like no I'm trying to hang out with the cool kids right so I'm not going to be running around like a weeb and do all that shit but then like but what you come to realize is that like most like you be like you'll find real you'll find real fans uh, real friends and real and you'll, people you actually fuck with for real when you're 100 percent because then you filter yourself you don't have to hang out with people and then find out they like anime or something or like whatever like in fact i retweeted this tweet that um for those of you who know who omni is he said that one of the best pickup lines for girls is uh do you watch anime because he said because it's one of two scenarios either no they don't watch anime which means it's a waste of your time anyways or two now you guys can have a dope conversation about the anime you watch so you like you you get you get that out of the way you take that filter off from the get-go so you don't have to worry about that later down the line so yeah i'd be walking around with my fucking android 21 shirt in public i don't give a shit like no and, and honestly and here's another thing too and i know as narcissistic i may come off sometimes this may be weird coming from me but you have to also accept the world doesn't revolve around you 99 percent of the earth's population doesn't give a shit about you so stop walking around acting like all eyes are on you because they're not so don't think oh man like, I gotta... oh man people people actually care about what i care about like no nigga no no we don't yeah we're, like we really don't. Uh, even, even my parents are like my dad's like that's ugh. like i'd be selling i'm like man if i gotta scratch my ass in public i'll dig all up into that shit who the fuck cares i don't know none of these niggas they don't they don't owe that like like who don't act like you don't scratch to... your ass <laughs> i don't impress none of these people who the fuck are you like <laughs> so like i mean it depends on the situation like maybe sometimes if i'm like going to class or whatever and i know there's a bunch of honey's eyes on me all over the place and i gotta be prepared for any situation i gotta p put on appearances then yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be all regal and a real ass nigga and shit but otherwise like i have this one class at night that i go to and it's just like eight people in my class i go in that shit in sweatpants and sandals i don't i ain't putting on clothes for these niggas the fuck like <laughs> so <laughs> yeah just just stop giving a shit and it's it's a very liberating experience and i, I it is hard trust me like i'm still taking steps it's like every day it's like like it's almost like you have to go against your instincts and i do think there is a certain layer of like um you know reservation that you need to have and like jay jay you can you can ask jay about this too because he'll even know firsthand how like i've sort of stripped away these filters to my detriment in some circumstances that i need to have those like sometimes being 100 percent and blunt and honest and not holding back in all scenarios isn't necessary isn't isn't a good thing but um so you have to sort of work the 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 middle and find a way to find that balance but it's definitely a lot more liberating to not have to like put on a sort of a uh, facade for um um for people uh, like yeah. just, if this is a part uh, of who you just, are like just because you you brought it up i i do want to speak on this just because it might it might help somebody is yes it's great to be 100 percent you uh, unapologetic like be who you are like yeah that's that's great and everything but you can't just go around all the way, all, all the time talking about fuck bitches, get money. Like, like you right, can't be a time about... and place for everything. Like exactly, exactly. So some, some, some of you've like, uh, I don't, I don't know how many of you guys are actually social. I assume a lot of you aren't. So <laughs> you know, it's, there's a time and place for everything, like you said. But sometimes you just got to be careful because you'll get yourself wrapped in a situation where because of your lack of giving a shit, don't don't get it twisted. Like courage is not the same thing as not giving a shit. It's just not. Because when you don't give a shit, that, that gives you the absence of fear. And sometimes fear is, is a necessary uh, piece of knowledge that you have to have right. in order to... It'll separate you from, from doing something smart and doing something stupid. So, you know, it doesn't always necessarily be like, oh, well, Heavenly and Jay said, I, I can do whatever the fuck I want. No, you cannot. Uh, no, <laughs> and you it's like cannot. I said, like I said, your, your instincts tell you to hold back for a reason. So be aware of that, but also try to fight against it so you control where that line is drawn. But don't just don't delete the line altogether. Just push it to where you want it to be. Yeah, like, I think a perfect example yeah yeah right they're there for a reason it's like don't uh, don't eliminate that like it's it, it serves a purpose it's like you know it's like almost like when your conscience tells you not to do something it's just like you can it's like it's like make a deal with your conscience sometimes you listen and sometimes you don't but don't just be like the conscience don't know what you're talking about like and that's another thing that i've had to learn to do and sometimes and i still fight with it every day is to sort of um acknowledge and you know have the wisdom to acknowledge that i don't know everything and that I don't have all the answers. And even if I think I do, 
always take a devil's advocate or a benefit of that. Always hear the other side. Like I'm actually, I've subs I'm subscribed to some channels that, and people, some of some people, because they people see me in the comments of all types of videos. Like Heavenly, what are you doing here? I don't expect you to see you here. I like, for, like, even though I don't, I'm not really like a politics person, and I don't really care much about this stuff. I'm pretty neutral in regards to a lot of stuff. I'm subscribed to very like left leaning and right leaning channels just to hear the different perspectives, just so I have sort of a very uh, blanket sort of uh, perspective on all. Of the, you know like, I don't really called? pick a. Yeah. Wait. What? You know what that's called? What? It's called being a man of culture. <laughs> I guess so, yeah, <laughs> man of culture. I just, I, I don't, and I don't, and it's like, you don't, like, I feel like everyone feels like they have to pick a side. Like, I don't pick, I don't have to necessarily pick a side. I'm like, I'm on both sides and neither sides. I'm just, I'm an outside watching from the sidelines force. So that, that's the and way that I look I, at that. Then when I do formulate my opinion, it's usually based off, off of me getting a lot of information. It's not like I just sat here and was like, oh yeah, I don't really, I don't really care about abortion, this, that, and the other thing. It's like, nah, bro, like, it, shit changes when you accidentally knock a girl up, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't you have a narrow focus on life, you know. And and th that's the other thing too is that because a lot of people, and even if you don't realize and you're not doing it on purpose, people have the tendency. Hey, thanks, Timochi. I'll have to read some of these super chats. Preach. <laughs> respect, dude. Preach. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, another thing that a lot of people do naturally is that they um, uh, is like you you sort of create this like world that only reflects what you want it to give you. And, uh, and, and like, especially like on YouTube, for example, like if you watch videos for certain people, then, um, they'll keep recommending you more videos with that attitude or with that perspective or from those types of people. And then like, I've, I've been surprised by how many people who like think the exact opposite of what you would think everyone thinks. In fact, I just rewatched that SNL skit with, uh, Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock where the, um, uh, people like, uh, were like, oh my God. America's racist. America's and they racist. Laughing. Yeah, when Donald Trump won the election. And then I saw this comment and I was like, you know what? This comment is actually really like legitimate. Is that people in New York and California think that they're a representation of the entire country when really it's like which there is like a, the largest concentration of people in those two areas, but there's a whole other 48 states that you have to take into account. And I, I, I agree that I do that sometimes too. Sometimes, you know, living here in LA County, I sort of almost as if like the world revolves around my sort of sphere of influence, but sometimes you have to, and everyone does this, but you have to sort of like constantly fight to disassociate that and understand that there's all types of different people and viewpoints and experiences out there that you can't relate to maybe attempt to understand those things so like whenever somebody comes with at, um, at me or on the internet with an opinion that i might necessarily agree with i always hear them out in like with, with like an open understanding to hear what until they have to you say. prove yourself to be extremely stupid then i'm like oh i gotta give you the credit for being stupid right right like and that's the other thing too i and I understand why people say this and once again it's sort of to be more like not so blunt and to like not hurt anyone's feelings but I don't fuck with that statement I respect your opinion because it's like no I don't respect your opinion I you have I, I respect your right to an opinion but like I'm not gonna be like you know what we can agree to disagree or whatever well, okay I guess you could agree to disagree but that's like, Unless I actually say, genuinely do respect your opinion. I'm like, oh man, that, that is a pretty good opinion. Right, like I'm not going to go to some guy who's just be like, no, you know what, fuck God, I worship Satan and I believe that he's going to rise and take over the earth. I'm not going to be like, oh, oh, you're a Satanist. Oh, I respect your your religious beliefs. Like, uh, no, I don't respect those beliefs. Like, what the fuck? But, now, like, if you tell me, if you t it, it also depends on how it's packaged, too. Like, sometimes presentation is everything because... Uh, I, I have a few friends who are who are actual Satanists and the way they they have like a satanic Bible and everything and like what the, the way fuck? They, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The way they present the information is just like, huh, that is interesting. And it and, and it genuinely puts you in a place where it's just like because it's not all like hellfire and like brimstone and shit like that. Like that's but what yeah, you but like as a see, that's a perfect Bible example because even me right now listening to you, Jay, that's really that's, hard to try you know, to like you know what's you know. you know what's so interesting though, is that's not that's not what the satanic Bible is about. It is, it's not the anti Bible either. It's literally just, all right, my nigga, uh, all, all this sunflower and rainbow shit that you think the world is about. That's not what it's about. And that's the end of the book. That's literally it. Like, all right. Hey, let me, let, 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 let me play, this, like, let, let me play the other side here. Let me play the other side here for a second. Okay. Like, and by the way, like <laughs> just to, just to address this before I get into this, like, like I guess I guess I am not no religious ass on none of this shit. So this is just a scenario that I'm creating. So don't take it seriously. But like, I, I was actually thinking about this the other day. So, you know, like in the Bible, like Lucifer is like a fallen angel or whatnot. Um, and like sure. in the Bible, it's like, oh, it's like, so 
what's this so you mean so any so and satan was the most beautiful angel he was the like head of all the angels or whatever so i'm supposed to go to heaven with all these other these angels seem like they can they got free will like they can discern to turn evil like so just like, out of nowhere I mean, I, right i mean if one of them like, did god, that god what's with your niggas what's going on up here so <laughs> i mean when you be when you be thinking about angels you be thinking about angels you think of like these pure like pure beings of light and happiness like wait lucifer was one of them niggas too and, so, and he took people with him too and so, he was like he was like s rank like 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 imagine s rank fucking angel like like this nigga right was so when you think devils like, like these niggas just look like we i think people think devils they gotta have these like demon wings and shit and like all this other stuff but, nah, when you, devil, but like devils, devils got big titties bro right but like but but these niggas were angels too in fact i feel like the best comparison to this is because you know people have been on this shit and i side i've been catching up high school dxd takes is actually that's basically at high school dxd they're all satanists essentially they're all demons and you know they even got lucifer who's like riaz grimory's brother and like they actually in some circumstances the ain't like they're like these fallen angels that had like were hiring these priests to exercise demons just for being alive even though they weren't fucking with anybody and like they were actually like that anime even though it's like you don't really take it seriously because there's like tits flying everywhere and it's just like an etchy anime but like they that anime is from like the demons perspective and shit so yeah i mean <laughs> i mean like that's why it's like it's really hard to like i feel like there's a very like that's uh, i feel like religion a lot of religions have a very narrow perspective on their own beliefs where it's like they don't look outside of the box at like hmm that's kind of nah. interesting like and then and then what's interesting is like they're all be like almost all religions say the exact same thing like you know don't don't kill don't steal you know don't fucking rape you know shit like that you know it's just like general guidelines to not be a fucking asshole like it's that simple. It's the it's the actual yeah. like built in like that's the spiritual portion I believe. Like, and I'm not really like hyper religious or anything like that. It's just one of those things where it's like just don't be a fucking asshole. I think uh, that Philip uh, DeFranco phrased it the best. He says that he thinks that religion is really good for like giving people a moral compass and like a set of like laws to live by. Like it's really good at that because I mean like, I it, I guess I genuinely think humans are just born with that though because. It's like if you're mean to your yeah, mom. Yeah, but then if you put if you put this yourself. divine sort of justification behind it, it's a lot easier to like convince yourself yeah, that this okay, is like okay. you know like okay. if there's if there's hellfire punishment if you don't abide by these rules, then there's more motivation to like do that shit. It's like oh, what? you're telling me if I kill and murder and rape, I'll burn in a flaming pit for eternity? Oh well, let me definitely not do that shit. Like, and that, that's know, one of the things that's always been weird to me too is that like um, that almost feels like a threat. Like what? Like you tell me like. Like, like, uh, what kind of? First, first of all, that sounds like a like a whack ass threat. First of all, because like when you talk to and I've I've actually asked like religious people this before, and uh -huh. they swear up and down that hell that hell is a legitimate place that it exists, and like when you sin, you'll burn for eternity. I'm like, wait, God's kind of fucked up in that regard. Then right, I'm saying if, that sounds like honestly, like, what if I just honestly, do something like I steal, you know, and then all of a sudden <laughs> it's like it's not a prison sentence like all right my nigga you're going to hell for three to five like like no you're burning for oh because i stole a fucking candy bar when i was that's seven? that's some pretty like because like the way up. like honestly uh like it's almost as though the in the world where like the christian beliefs or the catholic or the, the those beliefs exist that's a scarier world than a world where none of it exists because like in one scenario if you do wrong or even if you don't like i, I don't I honestly i don't know I, i've actually honestly asked pastors and shit what their answers were because i was genuinely curious and they all give me mixed results so i don't really know but like Them niggas oh, don't know like, either. <laughs> yeah so they it's just, just like right it's like so what if you're like not what if you're not a, a christian or whatever but you're really you're really upstanding human being you're still burning in hell and, and like i've had people be like no blah blah, blah. and some people's like yes that's how that's what it says like <laughs> but like, because you uh, didn't because you didn't believe i was just like um right. Uh, okay, wait. So you mean to tell me I can go my entire life and not do anything that you consider a sin? And then it's just like the second I die, it's like, ah, uh, no, you didn't believe in my specific book. You got to go down the other way and burn for all eternity. Right. Like, wait and a minute, hold on. And, 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 right. and then let's go in the world where none of this d stuff exists. So then I die, and it's just like it's just I'm gone. I don't. I won't. It's just, you know, it's I, just I, game over. It's yeah, it's just empty. Like I'm not going to feel it. I'm not going to because I'll be dead. Like I'm not. I'll just like it's that's it. It's like going to sleep and not waking up. But you're not going to be like. Like, of course you don't want to die but it's just like after it's done it's you don't it's even over. know what it's like you haven't done it before. right right like 
I, I mean, prefer that over sports. burning. Like, <laughs> so, um, and then, but you, what you have to understand though is like, uh, like it, it, that's why I say like religion is always this weird thing. Cause like, like I feel like what, for the most part, whatever religion that you're born into is a, there's a strong possibility. That's the one that you're going to grow up with for the rest of your life. Oh and yeah. It's not, people, people usually just follow right behind their parents. Most of the right. Or it's just like the culture you grew up in. Like you're not going to go and talk, go to a Buddhist and be like, you're going to burn in hell if you don't adopt my culture. Like, that's that colonial, that English colonial mentality of like we have to, like our way is the right way, and we have to assimilate everyone else into our culture and shit. But like, um, uh, okay, hold well, on, let me see some of these super chats. So let's see here but before they start to pile up, and I start to miss some of them. Um, Timochi said, "I just felt like donating because you're a funny, dude. Keep it up, okay? Check my fuck you, Timochi. You a fake Check fan, out bro. Timochi's Instagram don't, don't, art. Um, no, nah, no. Nah, hey, don't, yeah, don't, hey, and go donate to uh, me." I'll even throw Jay in this too. You guys, if anyone in the stream is an artist, you need to make us some some fan. I'm trying to get a new profile picture, or some shit. You make me some dope, those dope stuff. I will like that. But um, fake uh, fan. Zeno is the one and only god. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, sure. Why not? I like the concept of uh, respawning. Actually, I think that's dope. <laughs> well, well, I like how it's not the. <laughs> It's not, not reincarnation. Like, just respawning, not reincarnation. Bro. Respawning. Like, did you because, see that like, Lenar how, uh, skit, Jay? Where he how, like the guy responds. Would, how boring would it be if it's just like, all right, man, that's it, game over. You, you know, you lived a good, you you survived a good eighty levels, then all of a sudden you just die out of nowhere. Like, it's like, oh man, I, I didn't even get any cool battles or anything. Like nothing. No no cutscene death ending. No no cutscene like, death. You, you literally died in your sleep. Like that was it. You you died peacefully. Like. What now? But see, you can't uh, respawn when you die of old age or some shit. Like, I remember in Dragon Ball Z when they were like, oh, why did we bring back the Elder Namek? Like, that nigga was old. We'll bring him back. He just died five minutes later. <laughs> yeah, right? He was, like, was on the deathbed, bro. It's over. You yeah, so. It's a, waste of a, it's a waste of a fucking wish. The so. flying spaghetti monster. Yeah. These niggas don't know what we're talking about. Heroes anyway. never die. Heroes never die. That's true because uh, they live on in the villains. Because the villains are the ones that don't actually die. And they're just complaining that their heroes died. So, anyway, but uh, yeah, you know, all that stuff is kind of, kind of weird, kind of, kind of silly type of situation. And it's, it's so interesting that we bring up the topic of you adopt what your parents have because my dad, like, to this fucking day, he's like, he's like actually angry with me that I'm agnostic, and he just doesn't understand the concept of like, oh, if I can't see it, then I'm not saying it's not there. It's just I would prefer to see it. And he's just like, no, something's there, this, that, and the other thing. You should believe in this, that, and no. I'm yeah. like, yo, 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 mind your business. Mind your business. All right. I'm kind of that way too because, like, obviously, like, I grew up Christian with my parents and stuff like that. But then what I – the reason the reason why I was like it, – it, it's, it should be – it's kind of dumb to where, like, I always felt like I was religious out of fear because I don't want to burn in a, a fiery hell. And I'm like – like if if that's my motivation, that's that doesn't sound that doesn't that doesn't sound like I want to do anything with because what if I yeah. I do something like that's considered good like 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 if an animal's dying and I put it out of its misery like is that is that technically a good thing like like I'm not I one of those people I'm not going to church oh praise oh I just love him so much no I'm going like oh I don't want to burn so hands in the yeah, air yeah. yes just like, I'm just offering doing this because somebody scared me too and then when you're doing things out of right. fear you. You, you do it to avoid damnation. Like that shouldn't be a motivation exactly. to follow something. If that's the case, and that's not. For, it's like, like oh, I'm like, gonna be a good person because I'm afraid to be the like anything else. Like it's just so stupid. And 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 I think that the the one thing that like, like the reason why uh, I, another thing that I always and I think like agnostic is a good way of putting it because I feel like atheist is like you believe that nothing exists, whereas agnostic is just you just acknowledging that you just don't know. Because I yeah. feel like. Um, because like it's like yeah okay I'm not like it's like oh, like the whole thing like denying that aliens exist like you can't prove that like have you explored the entire I mean honestly uh, of the universe that, that's something that I actually do want to talk about to get off this religious shit because first of all how hard is it to believe that aliens exist when we fucking exist on a fucking marble in right. the middle of like just on this specific planet. How narcissistic can you be to believe that you're so special that you're the only living organisms in the entire universe? Like Exactly. Like, like, first of all, how boring are you and like unimaginative are you to believe that intergalactic space bitches don't exist, bro? Like, exactly. Like, like, I'm trying to I'm trying to be like that Shaggy in that Scooby Doo movie where he fucked an alien. I'm trying to do that shit. Like Bro, um, I, that I'm down with this. I am absolutely down man. with fucking Martian. Like, you ever remember um like Duck Dodgers and and Marvin the Martians, like the Queen or whatever, and she just had these huge tits. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to get me one of those. Yeah. I need I need one of those. I need a I need that specific model. So that's what I'm trying to get. And that, even even like like science and shit like that. It's like 
like you, you, you I just I just feel like I've just developed this like frame of life of like taking literally everything with a grain of salt no matter how convincing it is because you have to understand is that everything that is told to you is told to you by man women woman by a human being and human beings are imperfect so like even when you look like like when people like look to the Bible like this holy scripture it's not, it's not like God summoned the words onto the paper and it's been translated ever since somebody just, somebody had to transcribe that shit somebody had to write that shit and if right. you ever please a telephone in like in like summer camp or something basically where you it's 10 people in a circle or however many people one person comes up with like the banana the banana is on the hill and then next thing you know it like they're supposed to play telephone somebody's not paying attention and then next thing you know uh the banana is inside jill wait that's not what I originally was said. How'd you get that? <laughs> and in addition to that, in addition to the telephone thing, you also have to take consideration. Think about how smart we are compared to people from the fucking, from like thousands of years ago. They probably, like, the people who wrote the Bible probably had an eighth grade education. They like, they didn't even know about science. Third if grade it, education, bro. It, like, Wait, like, 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 we're talking about like ancient Meso like Mesopotamia here, bro. Like these niggas, were right? Like the same people that wrote all this holy scripture, where they weren't saying like they were watching the Weather Channel, and be like, oh, it's raining because the clouds are moving this direction. Oh, God is crying today. It's raining. Like they, they like they didn't even have science. If they were, if it was like that, a, a lot of this shit does not does not transcribe to current day situation. That thou shall not commit adultery. So if I like, if I'm married and I go onto Instagram and I like another bitch's picture, is that is that considered <laughs> adultery? And I'm burning in hell for for all, eda all eternity. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this. This shit don't sound cool. I, I don't want to be a part of this. Like, I'm good. Yeah, like. No, it's just it's just like the 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 sort of the these laws that everybody takes is like dict like we's like are we also talking about the same people who had slaves uh, like are like are we just gonna right. pick and choose we just gonna pick and choose what stuff that they said that is like that is gospel and then the other half is like yeah oh, yeah not about that like uh it's nah, like oh nah. yeah, didn't they have slaves weren't they didn't they have like uh like yeah they they did all these terrible things and like uh so yeah it's just like there's there's some contradictions there so. It's like, oh, exactly. thou sh like, like, uh, and it, and especially if it was like so old and so special, like they're like, this word is law and stuff like that. And then of course you have your average non-believers and stuff. Uh, I, I don't understand how like wars would exist because if, by the way, I always found this shit truth, so like, crazy, Jay, I always found fuck? this shit so crazy how like, um, it obviously I'm like slavery's gone now, but like, I found this shit so crazy. Is that, it like, though? Um, <laughs> is it though? <laughs> right, right. But like, some of it still fact, exists around the I'm world. I'm like, so. did, did it some like, like, uh, like some like slave walk up and be like, oh, you're a Christian, right? Or you're Catholic? Did you not read the book of Moses, my nigga? Like, this is the same situation. Like, how do they like exactly. not see that as the same thing? I don't know. I've always wondered about that, but. <laughs> yeah. it's, so. it's not a, it's not, it's not a, it's not a. Uh, situation that I, all right I'm before just... we wrap up this podcast jay let's let's diverge over to some weeb shit because we've been talking about some heavy topics and i'm not about that that shit so. um, well let's <laughs> or, or, yeah. or 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 uh we can talk about um i don't know some mm, what's 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 coming out soon well, yeah Avengers what came Infinity out War my, shit i'm about to go my, watch my that hero, um, my hero comes out tomorrow oh, yeah that my hero oh, movie yeah, trailer comes dropped a uh, new episode comes, that was kind of cool we got to see all might's eyes i thought that was a uh, <laughs> right i mean i can only get so hype i mean if it's not out then i'm just like all right it's got no clout so that's it that's how i feel about yeah. it so i i am uh kind of excited for infinity war but i'm not gonna go see it um i'll probably just wait for it on Redbox only because i gave my money to black panther five times and i want oh that to God. hold on to <laughs> yeah i want it to hold on to its record like 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 it just be first of all i don't know who these stuffy ass white people were that thought titanic was fucking amazing i always thought that was a thing. <laughs> Like Titanic has always been fucking garbage to me. Like I don't I just think like the how. girls were like Leonardo DiCaprio, and then the guys were dragged along with the girls. But he's like, oh, I don't know, death and sinking ships. That's pretty cool. So yeah, and it's like, how come how come the top five highest grossing movies are all, of all time are not children's mu movies? Because obviously you're buying tickets for a family. Like, are these automatically yeah. disqualified? I'm confused by this. Like, I know that's how, how you begin like force. But yeah, that's how you begin like four sequels of like some Pixar movie that's really shitty because like oh well like if it's a cartoon for kids like it'll make money no matter how bad it, it is. So. Yeah, so I mean you know it, it is what it is. I'm not gonna go. Uh, I'll probably just pirate it. I'll probably just watch it online because it's not it's not something I'm I'm super in tune with right now and I don't need to be paying attention to it because I just got too much other shit going on. The only reason why I'm slightly interested in it because honestly I'm I'm at superhero fatigue. Like I don't care. Like I just don't. Yeah, I don't. And I mean, shit. I would say I'm excited for this movie, but after this movie, I think that I I would have to see some really convincing trailers to be like I want to yeah. see that next movie 
because yeah. like Black I Panther, mean, I was hyped to see just, this movie. I'm hyped to see. You but, know what's like, funny? You know what's really funny is we had this conversation before Black Panther came out, and you and I both were like, "Yeah, we have superhero fatigue. Like we don't want to see any more superhero movies for a while. This, that, and the other thing." Then Black Panther comes along. This shit was dope. Like, oh my god. Like, uh, no, I would, I would love to see this. Like, I'll see a Black Panther too, but I, I don't want to see a full fucking cast and entourage of like another superhero well even i mean infinity war almost even starts to like just from the trailers feels like a black panther too like they're showing a lot of heavy wakanda stuff like i feel like i think think the main battle probably takes place in wakanda well i mean that's what it's looking like all the trailers take place in wakanda so um like i I, I would like that that like ant-man the wasp shit like yeah i'll watch that i'll watch it i watch that digitally i watch that when that comes out on dvd or blu-ray whatever i'll watch i'll just pirate that i saw i saw paul rudd play paul rudd in a fucking in in a superhero in a a superhero costume yeah yeah in a superhero costume i I I didn't really care for their first ant-man so i i'm not gonna care for a sequel exactly like even even watching the first ant-man i was just like "Ah, all right i mean it it is what it is, I guess. Even like, a second Spider-Man movie, like, I mean, it, like, I'd have to, once again, I can't really make any decisions until I see, like, the trailers for this stuff, because, like, a lot of times I don't think I'll like something until they show a trailer, and I'm like, oh, that was pretty lit. Like, I, I didn't, need to see no, I didn't see um, Homecoming. See what? I didn't see Homecoming. I didn't see Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, yeah, well, um, I mean, it was dope and everything, but, like, I don't know, so many people were like, oh, this movie is so amazing. It was just, it was just, um, it was just average to me, like, I was just like... But- I mean, put Donald Glover in a in a Spider Man suit. I'll see the next Spider Man. I I like I know give us Miles Morales Spider Man or some shit. But like yeah. I liked the Spider Man movie, but like there was not like a one scene in that movie where I was just like that was like you know like the scene that you would go back and just rewatch that clip on YouTube for. I feel like right. Homecoming didn't have any of those moments. It was a good Spider Man movie, but it was just like this could have been like a Netflix series or something. Like I just feel like uh it, like it was like spider-man is my favorite superhero so like i'm a fan of spider-man so i but i like when i think of like civil war you think back to the captain america versus uh, captain america and uh, winter soldier versus iron man when you think of winter soldier you think of the final fight between captain america and winter soldier or actually even winter soldier had a lot of moments where like like the beginning scene where they were on uh, that heist scene where they were on the boat and shit oh, that was yeah. a dope thing oh and the part yeah. where nick Fury gets his face blown off like yeah so yeah. winter soldier that's one of my favorite marvel movies because i feel like that just like has so many dope moments in it um or like even thor ragnarok there's like a lot of scenes like thor versus um uh hulk or when they fight hella on the um that like uh bifrost bridge that was a dope scene and where yeah. hella murders all those people that was a dope scene so there's oh a lot man of, there's, that was great right so there's like moments you could reference to those movies um uh, even the first and, even the first couple of spider-man uh ha- had it like like we're right right that was the backflip and then uh fucking what's his name uh, uh the green goblin kills himself right. like that that's something god that's, speed, that's an Spider-Man. Iconic scene. <laughs> yeah it's just like <laughs> all right that's that's dope and then in the second movie where doc ock comes out and he's just like grabbing mary jane and shit like that or when he dies at the end like they, like these yeah. are iconic scenes i can't even spider-man 3 as much as you would hate on spider-man 3 i thought that when i watched spider-man 3 uh, when i was a kid i thought like, it, i no. even had that movie that movie was flames to me yeah okay yeah. emo peter parker was kind of weird I but mean, that black adult, suit was fucking awesome like yeah even as an adult like i don't understand where this spider-man 3 i it, it all like for you to hate an entire movie because Peter Parker goes emo for a little bit and like flips his hair around and does all this weird shit. You're gonna hate an entire movie. A movie with Venom in it? Yeah, and that was like a small sliver of the movie. Honestly, you know what? I honestly think it's like it's this like group think bandwagoning type thing. If like the if like a certain mass audience dictates that something is bad, then everybody else jumps on it too. Like even me and my dad had this conversation. You know the Daredevil movie with Ben Affleck in it? Yeah. Like I didn't I th- I thought that movie was dope when I saw that. And even oh, I like just, now, I, like for me, I didn't like it because I just don't give a shit about Daredevil. I don't. But I mean, it wasn't like it's like if you don't give a shit. But it wasn't like people like. But like when people it's talk blind about Batman. it, like I don't give a shit when, about blind when, Batman. When people like, <laughs> when people talk about how bad Daredevil is, they make it sound like so like so bad. I'm like I I, I just don't see. I don't see. In fact, I actually feel like the way that he perceived things in just Daredevil's like Daredevil, movie, I do not see it. I don't see. What yeah, you're I don't see. Like I remember when everyone was hating on After Earth. I saw that movie. It was just. It was just an average movie. Like it wasn't. It wasn't amazing or anything. But it, I wouldn't say that it was bad. It was just. It was a movie. Bright. Remember how people were saying that was like the worst Ooh. movie of the year. Oh my god. And I watched okay, the movie. I was like, I, what the fuck? I will say that's one of the weirdest movies I've ever watched. I won't say. It's I mean, it's worst. not a good movie. I'm not disputing that. It's, there were plot holes. It's all there, over the place, man. It, it's like, not a good movie. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying that Bright wasn't a. It, it was an entertaining movie, but it wasn't a good movie. I'm not. I'm not going to argue that Bright wasn't a bad movie. But for you to be like, oh, this is the worst. We're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You have you clearly anyone who says that has not watched a lot of movies because I could I could come up with a lot of worse shit 
than that. So, like, there's plenty of worse movies. I think that it's just because it's a Will Smith movie. movie. People put him on a pedestal, and they expect everything he makes to be, like, on this ex- exceedingly I mean, high level. Yeah, but, uh, yeah I, I expect that. But, but I then wasn't... what somebody pointed out, though, was that, like, when you think of all like, many, many of the stuff that Will Smith's put out lately, he hasn't really been put out, like, a banger in a while, When you like, to be honest. I mean, you, you, you of... can't... I mean... Your superstardom can only carry a movie so far. Like, like just because, yeah, I like you, you're carrying yourself as a character, but I don't care about this environment. So yeah. it's like, if I don't care, then I'm sorry. Like, like I like that you're in this movie, Will. I, I appreciate you for making it. Is I think you're great in it. I think it's dope. But the movie's just, just, just fucking hot trash, bro. Like, but I, I mean, think the reason why, is. like, but, like, what I think is, like, I respect Will Smith for those that he experiments with these movies. Because with these movies that Will Smith has been in lately, I feel like now that he has the clout that he has, he can experiment and be in different things. Because the stuff that we came up liking Will Smith in is him being that sort of quippy, charismatic action hero, like an Independence Day or Men in Black. We are not looking for uh, Seven Pounds Will Smith or uh, uh, Pursuit Ooh, of even though, Will Smith. Even though those you know. are good Will Smiths, though. Those are yeah. very good. I, I liked Hitch, too. I liked that movie. Oh, man, um, that was fucking amazing. So, but, like, obviously, yeah. like, and even I'm in this boat, too, where Will Smith in that um, uh, um, I Am Legend, that's the kind of Will Smith movie that I like, or, like, Will Smith in... Um, uh, Oh, there was another movie that he was in. I'm trying to remember what it was called, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. I was also, and you know, that's another thing. I think a reason why people didn't like After Earth was that Will Smith was in it, but did almost nothing. It was mainly Jaden Smith, and I would definitely like to see a lot more from Will Smith. And also the fact that Will Smith's character, his personality, was so bland, and that's not why we like Will Smith. We like him because he's such a personality, he's such a character. But to exactly. see him in that movie, and he's just like this emotionless guy that sort of like contradicts Will Smith as a person to me. So that was kind of weird, but. Yeah, and it's this, and it's the same concept with like uh, the Star Wars prequels. Actually, like I've never understood. Yes, like, yes, like, that's another good blame, example. People will blame the ins- the entire prequels. Be like, the prequels are shit. Why? Jar Jar Binks. Oh, so one character. So one character is gonna demean the fact that like you have these dope ass lightsaber battles. You have this great political climate that you actually give a shit about these characters for for like nine straight movies. One character is gonna ruin that. Shut your dumb ass up. Sit the fuck down. And by the way, I, I don't know what happened. To that. Maybe it's just because it's like a really popular franchise. I've I've seen every Star Wars movie. I've watched Star Wars Clone Wars. I've seen a lot of Star Wars. And I don't understand. Like, I, I understand them enjoying the lore in the world. Like, I remember when The Last Jedi came out and there was like weird shit in like Finn's storyline served no purpose. There was weird stuff like. Um, I, I heard that uh, movie was, was not was not like good like like people were just disappointed with it like it just didn't like, have well there was just weird shit in it like star there was like factor. like like well no no it was definitely felt like a star wars movie but there was stuff in it that just didn't need to be there like they had like these animals in there that served no purpose it was like they were just there to sell toys they had these storylines that didn't reinforce the main story like finn's whole storyline had like you could have t- it was basically filler it had nothing to do with the main story and like a single conversation could have like taken that whole thing out it's like they just needed to give him something to do there were characters that were shoehorned in that didn't need to be there there were like things like that were just with the lore that was weird like there's this one part where like princess leia um she gets blown out of a ship into space and she's floating in space for like five minutes and suddenly she wakes back up and flies back into the ship like what you, you sh- so yeah there's uh-huh. definitely some shit that's confusing but i mean and but for people to be like oh man this movie was terrible i'm like it to me it didn't feel better or worse than any other star wars movie i've seen they're all kind of the same to me like even like like the the original like uh trilogy of star wars like people a lot of people say like uh episode five was like the best one right that one i fell asleep at parts in that one like that one was kind of boring to me Um, episode five um the one where he's i am your father and all that shit. oh so you mean the, the first star wars movie Right, like the first Star Wars movies, and I also think that there's a certain nostalgia factor for a lot of older fans, because for me, you know, with all of the dated special effects and storytelling and the cliche stuff, that I'm sure Star Wars was the one that originated a lot of it, but now that I've seen it repeated and copied in a bunch of other stuff and going back and watching Star Wars, uh, right. I, I appreciate it for what it is and what it's done for cinema over the years, but like, it's like, and I'm, it, I think that they're good movies, they're competent movies, and they're enjoyable movies, but they're they're not like people be they're not like these like 
per, hey man, works they, don't, of, they don't stand the test of time. That's what it is. They're not like there's not like these works of perfection that people make them out to be. I think that people like have these bloated uh, um, um, ideas of what this stuff was. That like I, I like what I the one thing that I do understand is the universe that Star Wars creates and like how it has the comics and all this other stuff. The universe of Star Wars is fucking awesome. But like uh, so if you're a hard if you're, you're a hardcore Star Wars fan for the universe and that environment. And like you just like you just love just space battles and shit like that's fine. But like if you're gonna isolate the movies as the sole thing that makes Star Wars so good, like I feel like honestly Star Wars was pretty bare bones. It was pretty just average. I think that it's all the stuff surrounding it, all the lore and all the stuff surrounding Star Wars that it that built on the original movies that made it such a a great franchise. But I think that if you were to just talk about those original three movies, they're not like these like like these testaments of like honestly i thought clone wars was way better than the original the, oh the yeah Star clone wars, wars yeah i i agree 100 yeah. percent. because that shit they it it you know your shit is special when you decide to take your main characters out and put your super minor characters in and people are invested like like when you get me invested in characters i didn't give a shit about oh man yo i don't even know who this random clone nigga is but i suddenly care about his family like that shit is dope so, it would honestly uh, make more sense to be a hardcore Star Wars fan from Clone Wars than from the movies, because I feel like yeah. I wasn't really. I, I think St Clone Wars is what made me a, a, like a, a bigger Star Wars fan. I feel like I wasn't really sold it on it until up, it built up on the universe and like you give a yeah. shit about the universe. You care about everything that's around it. I mean, yeah, the lightsaber battles are cool and all this other shit. And like, yeah, that's dope for like two and a half minutes. But if you're sitting here and thinking about the lore and other planets and cultures and shit like that, like you're like, man, I wonder. I wonder what it would happen if they had a Jedi version of of like this person, like from this race, or or are do Siths only fuck with these niggas? Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's only certain environments that certain uh, people can go to, or like some of these planets that are covered 100% in water. How do they get mm -hmm. visitors and shit like that? You care about this stuff, so it's like, man, you know what? Why would I watch any of these fucking movies? Because they only do like a little. They, like, they don't do anything justice compared to like, you know, the fucking tv show so it's like i don't know i don't know man star wars has a very special place in my heart but at the same time you also have some of these people who don't watch star trek but then claim they like the same aspects that we're <laughs> talking about because i actually i didn't know this about star trek but star trek has a more expansive universe than star wars does like i didn't know yeah, that it just so, doesn't like, it just isn't um, built on in as much stuff yeah, but, um, and it's not not as much action either. So, like, and also I, to defend the people who watch Star Wars Rebels, because like I know, like I've heard, and like, I haven't actually watched Star Wars Rebels, but like that Star Wars Rebels is more kid friendly and isn't as good as Clone Wars. But in just to kind of look at it from their point of view, the people who are really big fans of Rebels, Rebels is like Boruto, Naruto, Next Generations, and that's why I understand why they watch it because it's like it's 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 better than nothing to them, you know, because yeah. they're such a fan of the of the um, Star Wars universe. Ooh. So seeing. Um, even a below average version of it and for some of them it's just as, it's just as good and if not better so you know there's yeah. all types of opinions on it i can't really give an opinion way in that much because i haven't watched it but like that's how i feel about boruto like people are always asking me heavily well boruto's trash why do you watch it it's just like i'm watching it because like maybe it'll get good one day like so i'm like but i mean i am skipping episodes and shit but like I i'm like like because i'm i've been i've watched i've been watching naruto since i was like 12 years old so yes i'm 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 a lot so that's what was that 11 years ago so i've li i've lived more than a decade with naruto in my life so yes i'm going to watch through i think i can stomach maybe uh, a few months of shitty boruto episodes to get more of what i came to love over the course of the last 11 years that i've been watching this shit that's so hey, minimal in comparison you know? you know what and just uh the last thing i, I want to talk about because this was act i went on a rant on twitter because niggas was really pissing me off about this <laughs> um i want you niggas to understand that even if i thought this was an april fool's joke about a sixth season of teen <laughs> titans i thought it was a joke i thought it was a joke apparently apparently it's a thing that is still rumored nothing has been confirmed yet no, tara strong hasn't said yes uh yuri lowenthal hasn't said yet none of these none of these voice actors have said yes and they're not the ones spreading the rumor. The fans are spreading this rumor. So okay. I definitely don't believe some of you niggas out there who can barely even read, okay? So I, I definitely don't believe some of you niggas. Let me, let me set you straight right now. A lot of you niggas want a new version of Teen Titans, and you'll shit on Teen Titans Go, but don't watch the show. You're not allowed to shit on Teen Titans Go if you don't watch it. But you know what you can shit on? 
you can shit on Teen Titans and the fact that Young Justice is better than Teen Titans. I'm just going to let y'all know. And even Young Justice, I remember them talking about making a third season of that, but they just waited so long, I don't even care hey, anymore. Like, if they came out the third what? season, because I'd have to have go and watch. we don't have Obama in office anymore, man. Uh, if, they, if, they, if they made a third season, I have to go back and rewatch the first two because it's been so many years since I've watched it, I wouldn't even remember what was going on. And like, it's not on Netflix, so it's not like you can binge it either. Just to catch and then, up. And then I, I've seen like a poster of it and it looks like most of the of the characters from the original set from the first and second season are like grown up and they're not even in part of the Young Justice team anymore. So like Yeah, they're they're in the Justice League now. Yeah, like they have like they have like static shock in there or something, right? Or like yeah. something like so, that. It was basically the point I was trying to make is you niggas need to stop you you stupid niggas need to stop shitting on Teen Titans Go, because it's it's funnier <laughs> than the original. It's just not the original, okay? I need y'all to understand. The show that you, you love and cherish, because some of you niggas aren't even old enough to have watched Teen Titans when it first came on. You guys are just picking up on the wave. Like, you early 2000s kids, like, y'all niggas don't know nothing about Teen Titans. I'm gonna tell and you. And honestly, now. I don't like when everyone's always petitioning to get another season or something to reboot something or bring something back. I honestly, let as shit great... Let die, bro. Right, let stuff die. As great as these shows were, and as much as I love them, I want new shit. I don't want to keep just getting rehashes and reboots and just keep clinging to this thing. I want to be a fan of new stuff. That's why I always love when, like, an anime comes out that's not a reboot or a remake or based on some manga and its original content, or when a dope show comes comes out that isn't just like a spin-off series of another show or uh, an, a rehashed idea that I've seen before like Star Trek Discovery like no just yeah. come up with a new come up with something new come up with something that I haven't seen before a new universe a new brand just like it's it, it seems like even like in movies nowadays movies video games everything everything is just sequels and reboots and reimaginings and remakes no original stories in fact me and my dad were just watching this trailer for that movie Lost in Space that's based off of the like i think 70s 60s tv show and my dad was kind of mad because like there was this old doctor that they basically they um they sjw'd and made into a woman and my dad was just like that doesn't make any sense it was an old man why is it now a woman a middle-aged woman now i, I personally don't care i never watched that stuff as since that was like your dad sounds like doctor who fans who are mad that the 13th doctor right but like, like it's just like but when you but like that mo the original show was like a comedy and like now this new lost in space series is like a, a, a gritty serious space travel was like and, and but it's like they've changed the material let, up let so shit, much yeah let shit evolve man like like it just doesn't doesn't make sense to keep the keep the same shit the same it just doesn't, doesn't well, what i was gonna say is uh, what i was value. gonna say is like um why even call this lost in space why can't it just be a whole new different con story like why does it have to like I, maybe just to bring in those fans or whatever but i mean but clearly it doesn't work because my dad who was a fan of the original show doesn't like it they just changed so much stuff from it but it's like just just name this something else and make it its own new original story why does it have to be you know what i'm saying like it seems yeah. like everything is like just it's just a watered down but, version or milking uh, of the series i didn't i didn't want to like keep diving into this but you know why they do that is because when especially when it comes to video games and movies sometimes you gotta have that ip because you're not you're 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 afraid that getting new original ideas in Hollywood mm -hmm. and shit like that, it's not, you're not going to sell anything. Right, it's Imagine, a business type thing. Yeah, I understand that. So It's it's 100% completely a business to where it's like, listen, we're not going to gamble on a new IP, man. We just can't. Like, we love your story, but we're just going to make another Uncharted game. Like, sorry. And I think that's like that capitalistic society that we live in now is sort of set in stone. Anything that was created before that that was established. And every, every once in know, a while... Back to the, back to the future is going to come back. Watch. I'm right. telling you. It, I, I would not be surprised. Uh, but, and and but, but like, even if, if they do that, it'll probably be like a Netflix series or some shit, which sounds cool to if you like Back Back to the Future, which I don't really care because Marty McFly was a fucking punk bitch to me. But <laughs> uh, no, he just really was like like all the shit that these niggas was just having problems with, like like uh, like when you look at shit like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, like these these seem like dumb Caucasian movies where you could have just had a conversation with. I know, like sometimes I'll be watching shows like Parks and Rec and like on Netflix in the living room. My dad just be walking. And he's like, "How do you find these white people shows entertaining?" Like, <laughs> and it's so. I only I only categorize it as like dumb white people shows. Because it's literally something like you know, if you had a smart black person on this show, they'd just be like, "Why the fuck are we doing this? Right. Let's do this." It just and there and, and there are a lot of times be not a single black person in these shows. Yeah, and then the the one black person they do have is a fucking idiot. Is a like, caricature, right? Yeah, exactly. Like like what's his name? Uh, the black guy from the office. Right, Stanley. He just yeah, eats and yeah. sleeps all the Stanley time. But then you had Daryl come in, which he, he was also he was. I feel like he was also never really. Maybe kind of towards the end, he became more important. Um, uh, but. 
yeah, I don't know. But I would definitely say that for the for the majority of the show, though, like the black characters or the minority characters were always the yeah. sillier characters. Like even um, literal uh, what's her minority face? characters. What, what was the Indian girl's name? I forgot her name, but she was also uh, like almost. Like I know a silly her real character. life name. I don't. I don't know her fucking show name. Uh, that's yeah, Mindy. I forget. Yeah, uh, I forget her name in the show though. But the, the one thing I want I want the audience to take I want you guys to take away from this is if you don't like something, don't talk about it. Don't support it. Don't don't do anything because the more you talk about you hate something, that just gives it more power. If you really yeah, don't stop like, stop going to watch those Zone, Transformers movies. Yeah, if you really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially those. Like, if you really don't fuck with Teen Titans, go. You need to stop talking about that shit. Just stop, stop complaining about it, right? Like yeah, that's so, what I be saying when I when I'm complaining about something, I'm basically telling you that I care about it. And I, I shouldn't have to yeah. explain that to people. Like, why are you talking about it if you don't like it? Like, it's so interesting. Some people will give more energy and more attention to things that they don't like compared to things that they do like uh, it's just such a shame like oh man you know this is your favorite youtuber and stuff like that but i'm just gonna go and talk shit about pewdiepie because he has so many subs fuck that guy blah 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 blah. meanwhile some of your favorite creators are just not getting talked about at all so that's what i'd be saying when people be leaving comments on like criticism of like like just like uh bigotry and hatred in my set comment section i'm like well you're clearly a fan you subscribed you're here in the first place so yeah exactly and then it's on multiple videos it's not like it's just on one video that you call me a stupid nigger faggot like i mean and like sometimes they'll be leaving these comments it's like you're familiar with my content you watch several of my videos to even know this so so and then and then those people be more of a fan than your actual like quote unquote hardcore fans because right. they go hey, as i always say haters like, are your biggest fans exactly and it's so interesting because people who hate on you they'll go to every single video and leave a comment like first of all my diehard fans don't even do that like what the fuck yeah. like thank you for the support like you you are a real one my nigga like i thought i had some real ones out here who were like donating to my patreon and all this this that and the other thing nah nigga you a real one you come to every video consecutively you got notifications turned on and everything can't believe this stupid nigger faggot hasn't killed himself yet ah, you know what maybe if you leave a more a, a few more comments on all my videos i probably will so but uh that's all right, let's wrap this shit up so we can go. Uh, so you can uh, carry me out of silver and Overwatch. Uh, so you can stop yes. talking shit about a, me. Can I get something to eat and take a nap first before we play? Because oh I yeah, know. yeah. I mean, I'll be just be doing it without you, and then you can just hop in. All um, right, for sure, for sure. Um, but yeah, um, I want to let you guys know. Subscribe to Just Jay Sama if you guys like all this, all this dope shit. I'm bringing Canon Culture back next week. Uh, because I have some uh, some new merch coming out. That's basically I I really didn't give a shit about the views and stuff like that. I just cared about the merch because I want you niggas to support me and support my my dream and my journey. And if you guys are tired of watching all these dumbass uh, anime based movies and all this bullshit coming out, I need you niggas to support me so that way I can make dope anime movies great again. I'm just saying, just saying. Subscribe to Just J Sama. Donate to my Patreon. <laughs> that's, right, that's, guys, my that's, new pitch. that's my new pitch at the end of every video that's now. your new outro subscribe to just yeah. jay sama and all that shit <laughs> yeah and all that good there shit. you go arrow gave you the link in the youtube click on that yeah shit. <laughs> thank you guys uh this is this has been your boy heavenly and i'll see you guys next time <laughs> exactly